Episode seven. Snowfall. Episode seven already? That was yeah. seven, wasn't it? That was seven. Yeah. Damn. That means it's about to end soon. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, that yeah. did happen quickly. Yo, I'm gonna call fifth man, see what's up with this power book. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna last. Summer twenty twenty one. That's all we know. June is what I think, but Hopefully. snowfall. Sorry, snowfall. Heard some niggas dissing, oh my god, I'm wishing Promise we ain't missing, kill the opposition Putting Natty on it, all the talk I'm skipping If you send it for me, expedite the shipping No more olive branches We just came with sticks Switch from whipping work, now I'm whipping rappers Tell them pick a switch These niggas dying for respect Wouldn't give them up from a mind A lot of names getting crossed out So, we've been talking about the show for a little while But there's one character that we haven't really talked about at all and that's uh that's T. That's T. She is an op. To my Franklin Who girl. She yep. is okay. an op. It's mad hot. They have, the they have been her. purposefully keeping her role vague because I feel like in one of these episodes we just gonna get a long trail of what what she been doing over these She's weeks. Been strangely curious about everything. She's asking questions. questions. Franklin, where did this girl come from, bro? Yeah. How we how. You just pistol whipped your daddy for talking to a reporter. <laughs> You've been pillow talking to this op for you put weeks. Sure you get your, your, your she scalp oil, nigga. Question after question, but nobody knows who she is. Bruh, where did she come from? Oh, yeah, it was some girl I knew back in the day and blah, blah, Didn't blah, Didn't they meet blah. At, the, at the one party? At a party. He so met her at a party. She just showed up. And she just popped up, and now she in your crib. She got a job. She know about stuff. She work at the club. Her brother's in jail. Somebody Bruh, is, that's the is looking for information that's And she the is giving it to them But who have they wronged I mean, Yo, You, you want to know who I think it is Who's pulling her strings Man boy You think so Yes, I kind of feel that Man boy Because man boy has also been pretty he solid about saying, what he's doing I got shit in motion I got shit Just in motion And we ain't been seeing nothing have we We ain't seen a no, goddamn thing We ain't been doing shit And And Right Peaches and um, Franklin pulling off to, to go try to make a deal, try to go do a deal, right? Dudes is pulling up trying to figure out where they going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How they get on my ass in the first place? How did they know we was getting ready to go make a drop? Because the girl works at the club. Because you pillow talking with the ops, bro. Because you, you got an op in the bed with you. You charting too much. Man, he done bloodied his daddy like, man, head. We have not talked about her at all, and yet. That's she why. Could be, yeah. That's why I've been. I just been peeping, like, bro. Why is she asking questions? And a lot of people have been saying that, like, like, why she want a job trust. at the club? She got to be close to the action. Absolutely. Um, she didn't see Reed come in drunk, talking shit, drunk and coked up. Reed is down bad. Yo, boy. Reed is out of his damn mind. Reed is slowly becoming the guy he was afraid of in season one. Yep. What was his name Alejandro? Mm-hmm. His partner, his old partner. He is slowly becoming him. That's that's basically the, I the story. I forgot about dude. Yeah, I forgot all about him. Yeah. Where's Mel at? Who? Mel. She's still living reading the Bible, her bro. living her reborn life. She's reading the Bible, bro. Yeah, She's reading the Bible. Her and uh, Mel is a born again Christian. <laughs> okay, so are we going to talk about Shorty just killing random Leon lookalikes? Without checking IDs and verifying <laughs> that you just got niggas pulling up to the trap with nuts. Leon bodies in the car and you ain't even got that the right was person. crazy and then had the nerve to be like we got babysitters for this so you got to pay five hundred if you don't get your ass <laughs> if you don't get this dead nigga out of my driveway right now before I blast you <laughs> excuse oh, me nuts. I beg your pardon you just gonna bring me a random mofo and say well just give me some money. For- let me get two fifty for him because I did the work. Homegirl got a lot of bread. She putting a five thousand dollar hit on uh, Leon. She don't got that damn money. She, she don't. had the money to bail uh, homeboy out. What she, she out. actually and no, she might have some bread because it's Scully. But that, it don't look like niggas is doing too much business right now either. So true, true that doing too much PCP in the air. Where, Where is he though? Like, why isn't he like telling her to chill or anything? He's like, too busy. Also reading the Bible. Yeah, but bro, you, you, your wife is trying to commit murder or has committed murder. He's, he's more worried she's about been himself. Successful. <laughs> yeah, but she facts. did. Facts. Got to rein that in, brother. We got uh, introduced to the Crips and the Projects. Yeah, uh, Fatback's cousin. Fatback's cousin. Leon didn't want any smoke. They was about first. to fold Leon in a knot. Hey, well, he wanted 
every bit of smoke with Leon. They was going to kick that nigga's ass. I'm not going to kill you, but I will beat your ass. So I, I, <laughs> maybe this is a sign of Leon starting to be more pragmatic, using his thinking brain. You know what I mean? I would hope so, considering that girl just walked up on them and pulled out the gun and said, look, I need this money. And you got a price on your head, so... <laughs> What's funny is how Jerome was like, we ain't giving this no money. He was like, hold on, man. What you know about this bounty? Hey, give me some more information. What you need? He was like, "Uh uh-uh. But Poindexter drew down on that girl out of nowhere. He's going to play him a role, man. He's definitely going to play him a role. That's a good asset to have. Here go Leon. I don't want no motherfucking calculator. I was like, oh. He was just doing good, bro. He was was just doing good. He was quiet. When you told him, oh, I want no smoke, I was like, yeah, Lee, be, be the bigger man. Yeah, Way to be mature. Here you go. I don't want no fucking human calculator. Like, <laughs> it's like, ugh. Nigga, man, he got a mathematician on the team. Yeah, yeah, man. Like, no, you need that. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Um, your boy Calvin told the reporter everything. Dog, Alton, you mutt ass nigga. You, yo, he wasn't shit in the 80s, and he ain't shit in the 70s. Like, bro, why? At first, when he was in her house, peeping everything, looking around, I'm like, oh, this sly nigga Alton. <laughs> he going to get the drop on her mm-hmm. and get the story and take everything and murk her for Franklin. I was like, oh, he came back to the house and told Franklin's mom, like, Sissy. I did it for us. I thought he killed her. Nah. I thought he killed her right then and there. Now I'm like, damn, he didn't even fucking do it. I, I thought he was going to ice her. I thought so too, but his but body then his language mom was so ran and to, went and told Franklin. So mm. then that let me know that, like, all right, you know. Listen, man, that another it's, moral lesson from Snowfall. If anybody got your back, your mom's got you, dog. Yo, she's about to like. So I, I, I can I understand this from from a bunch of angles. I definitely understand niggas being tight with Alton because you made a decision for the whole business without talking to because nobody because of your conscience. But you wasn't talking right? like, to nobody Like, yeah, yet. what we doing may be wrong, but we can hold it down. You can go off and live your life wherever you want to away from this. You didn't have that conscience when I bought you this shelter. This conscience didn't stop me from buying this shelter with my drug money. Mm-hmm. You don't get to make that decision for everybody. Yeah. So I understand that. I also understand him looking at Sissy like, you are my wife. I'm an addict. I'm telling you, I can't do this shit no more. So in this last episode, there was a lot of like Temptation. sobriety and him Temptations. like battling with it. I the thought one he guy, was gonna go. The one guy died. Sick. Yeah, the one guy died. He was battling with the sobriety at the bar, mm-hmm. all that shit. I, you know, I've been reading like snowfall groups and shit like that. You think they would use his sobriety against him and make him like? A crackhead again, so that his his or accounting look to the reporter. I think that's what the reporter right did the on purpose, though. I think the reporter did that on purpose, though. Met him at the bar, knowing one of his weaknesses was alcohol. But you don't think, like, maybe either Franklin or no? Reed or she's somebody saying, will, like, yeah, he's saying, like, Franklin and them would do that to to discredit him, to discredit his cooperation of everything mm, that's going on. Yeah, they on. probably can. They can't probably spend. That. The mom is probably going to spend that. I, I I that's that's nasty work, man. It's nasty. Very nasty. It's nasty, but it can work. It, it's me. It's you me gonna get your daddy you. hooked on rock, or just say he was on the rock. He don't know what he's talking about. He loose in the brain. He ain't making it to Cuba. Yeah, I don't know what kind of plan that he is. He's like, man, we got two plane tickets. He keep talking about this Cuba shit. I got two plane tickets. We'll be in Havana what the tonight. What the hell are you going to do in Cuba? Right. This well, nigga, he is also. convinced he's about to be like, like really living in, in, in extradition out there in, in, in Cuba. You think he Haitian Jack? He just going to flee the city <laughs> and start a new life like a all He content. just believes that, like, I'm just about to leave the country and then nothing's like ever going to happen easy. to me. Like, this woman's not leaving her son like this. No. Yeah, but at the same time, though, she know. She knows Franklin is not getting out in two years. You know that. You know he's not. Like, if you hanging on to it and you saying, look, I'm here for the long haul regardless, cool. Cool. Then we got to understand it. But if you holding on and talking about, oh, he said two years and I believe he's not getting out. No. He ain't getting out. You know, no. good even if he well. wants to, something's going to keep. Bring keep him bringing back him back. Him. Yeah, he's not getting out of there. Try to leave, something keeps bringing me back. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, Wanda has seen the reporter, so Wanda's she tried to tell together. Lee. She tried to tell him. He want to let him know. Again, Leon's gonna put his foot in his mouth again. 
Just shut up and listen to her, fam. They would already have the drop. They would have. And then Alton wouldn't have got his mouth tore out. Yeah, Franklin got to chill, bro. Yo, Franklin. Yeah, you got to you gotta, you gotta relax. You put pause on your pops with everybody else that pressure. You can't fight back. And you know what? He really could have fucked you up, too. Leave, Alton. Look, my, my nigga, you over here. <laughs> to, <laughs> even the smack looked crazy. Slap like, your daddy. He had the Slap to your gun daddy. Fuck this nigga. Oh, what you gonna kill me? <laughs> like you did Andre? Like you did Andre? Andre right last June? <laughs> before the Fourth of July? Why are you just bringing up his grinds like that? Why are you bringing so being so specific? You know what I mean? You got a wire on, bro. I mean, he did upstrap on him, y'all. Like he, he upstrap on his on his pops. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh nigga, you gonna kill me? Why my nigga Franklin stop and start holding his chest like Red Fox? Right? <laughs> he did. He really did. <laughs> like nigga, you the abuser. Yeah, bro. You like, got a bad back and you abusing people. Just just tell us nigga leave. It, and, and you can't react like that when people tell you about the shit that you are done. You are killing people, you are bro. Aware of what you're doing. You're killing people. If you can't live with that, don't do it. Back step. Step out. All True. back. Option two, fam. I'm sorry. Yeah. Niggas got got to pick and choose when they morals is, you know what I mean? They mm-hmm. convenient as morals when it worked for them. That's whack. Yeah, you wasn't feeling you wasn't feeling that when you snatched that bookstore up from them people. Yeah. Yeah. Sure wasn't feeling that. Oh, and also I think uh Avi Rob uh what's his name Reed? I think, I, think I, he, I think Ivy stole from Reed. I don't think he stole from him, but I think he's trying to stop Reed from fucking up his life. He ain't giving him the Franklin treatment when he because like took if, him I, out if there I'm now. just trying to like I, I think he's trying to like look, bro. I'm trying to help you. You know what I mean? You need to slow down for a second because they gave him the money back. They put the money back into his account. Yeah, they put fifteen million dollars back into his account because Avi stole it, dog. But you were whole. Yeah. Oh yeah. For you sure. went and broke in this man's house off of a hunch. But if it is Avi, then I think Reed kind of knows. Even if even if Avi took it, I don't think it was to steal from Reed. I think it was to get him to slow down because he was just about to hit Panama and go back to, to doing coke and slapping niggas and shit. Yeah. I think Fair he was enough. trying to get him to sit down for a second. And you know what I mean and Like slow down That's why he told him that story Like look man I was out here doing bullshit And my government wasn't even supporting me To the point that they brought me in And said look You're leaving And you get to decide now How you leave You gonna leave walking Or being carried The choice Th- is yours that, That's right what again. you boiling this down to You the didn't have your hand literally show up A couple times The first time You was all stressed and shit Now you look like absolute shit This time when he seen Garbage. you Garbage Yeah like, what do you think he's telling people when he go back and report? Oh, Reed looks great. He's doing a great job. <laughs> yeah, nigga, Reed is looking nuts. Believe me, bro. Crazy. They can find another white boy to move coke to Nicaragua. You're not that special. Yeah. Facts. Big facts. Any other snowfall comments? You look like you want to say something. How many episodes is left? Three. Somebody got Eight, nine, ten. Somebody about to get Who smoked. getting clipped? Who getting clip? Somebody who getting, getting clip? Sadly. Who getting clip? Who, who getting clip? Who getting clip? I think it's gonna be Alton. I yeah. do too. I think it's gonna be Alton. I do too. And I don't think it's gonna be at the hands of Franklin. I think it's gonna be like a revenge kill kind of thing. I think he's gonna OD. I think old girl is gonna get tired of um, waiting around looking for Leon. So she gonna start trying to go after people that she she know that Leon and Saint mm-hmm. care about. And so that may lead to her running up on Alton because it's looking like Alton going to be on out on his own here pretty soon. That actually makes sense in the aspect of it'll probably scare the shit out of the reporter. Yeah. yeah. Like Alton came up dead. She will think that Saint did it and she will focus her story on Saint. I already think that that when did she taken this story to the to the editor that they're one hundred percent gonna want to do it again on Franklin and the family. They're not yeah. gonna want to focus on the CIA. They're gonna be like, oh, it's too CIA big. Too big yeah. Oh yeah, no, we can't. It's dangerous, and we can't. Oh, it's power. No, no. <laughs> go after it's the black big. people. Yeah, go after the black people. This mm-hmm. this is where the real story is. How did these niggers get all this money? <laughs> That's the real team. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Uh, anything else? Nah, man. Fuck you, Calvin. Turn with the frog face ass nigga. 
every time, every time. But, I got to, man. But, but Saint, Lee, take your hands off your daddy. Yeah, man. Slap your daddy. It's unnatural. Slap your daddy. And please, for the life of me, go see a chiropractor. <laughs> go see somebody. <laughs> Other than tea, yeah, go get an alignment. While she greasing your, while she oiling your scalp, oiling his crying. fro, oiling his, 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 his fro. How did you know I needed this? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, if you don't go sit in the tub with Epsom salt, <laughs> <laughs> grease is uh, grease head is the last thing you need. I thought she was about to get my dude an aromatherapy massage. I seen her start rubbing it. I'm like, she about to grease his his mini patch, his mini fro. <laughs> Thanks for watching another Back of the Bus Squad episode. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you want to check out another episode related to this, go ahead and click that video to the left. And if you want to catch up on some of our other episodes, make sure you click the playlist below.